I think that uh, it was not only me, it was the whole Greek people, practically not mad, enraged about what is happening in the country. We are uh, counted as collateral damage of a huge mistake of Western capitalism, IMF, the central bank, Mrs. Merkel, and all the guys that want their money back. Yes, well, you may well be that, but the fact is they do want their money back, and they've told Greece it's time to uh, start playing by the same rules as everybody else. Yeah, but I have to, to explain you something. You lend money to somebody with the hope of taking it back. You don't lend somebody money so that you take his life back as a price and as a punishment. What is happening now so, is that nobody knows what exactly is this. All right, Richard, what exactly is this debt? Whose debt is it? Is it the Greek people's debt? No. It's not our debt. It's not the Greek people that took the money. It's a small amount of big companies, multinational right. lenders right. and banks. So it's not the Greek people. So and what? you should I'm ask other, other deputies in the world, can they survive Just under these terms? Can you survive? Just a minute. What do you want from your Eurozone partners then? What do you want them to do? Because they basically say, Look, we can't keep sending money to Greece. Greece hasn't got the money to pay back the debts. It's going to have to have a reform of the economy. So what do you want? What do I want? And lots of people want now here in this country a beautiful exodus. We want to get out of the Eurozone. We want to take our lives back. Staying in the Eurozone is a disaster. A disaster getting in and a disaster getting out. But you must know that exiting the Eurozone would lead to a total collapse of the banking system, a total collapse of the economy, and put Greece in a worse situation than it is today if you had to go back to the drachma overnight. It can't be overnight. And it can't be the way this is planned by our lenders, our creditors. It is a decision, it is a political decision. This country is a country, it's not a business. But And that's why we cannot accept proposals, change your name, remake your image, start from the beginning. You can't start a whole country from the beginning. You can start an economy from the beginning. As we look forward, though, and you come to the conclusion of what happens now, ministers are already resigning from the government, there is strikes on the street, there are riots. What is your fundamental fear of what can and might happen in Greece? It's not a fundamental fear, it's a demand. Well, the first thing we need is elections now. Oh. There is no legitimacy. Of this government, the way is is running things, and there isn't no legitimacy for signing the future of uh, two or three or four generations. Nobody okay. elected Mr. Papadimos. He was picked up and selected as the available man to do the job that is against us. Okay, so. When elections now, who's afraid in a democracy when, of elections? Who is afraid? When the Eurozone leaders say that there has to be another 300 million in cuts, that all political parties have to sign up to the deal so that they can't change after an election when it comes, what is your message back to Brussels? We will resist to the last breath. Even if the law passes, nobody is going to implement the law. <coughs> Robust discussion where, of course, feelings are very strong and hot on both sides. Now, whilst Greece is 